Here we're at a ball bridge getting started for our 17 mile tour up to Chimney Pond. We got Tony, got all the gear. Looks like the weather's decent. Had some cold nights ahead of us in lean to, but otherwise, we're looking to get on a bunch of fun objectives. About 7 a.m. We should get there yeah. around 3 30, 4 30. You ready for this big guy? Hell yeah. Been training hard this winter. Geez, on guys, slow down. Ranger's gonna catch up to us and give us a ticket. We call this telesplitting. The first descent. In perfect style. Wow. With extra points. It's time check, Big T. Time check, T money. 10.25. Whew, good timing. Loving it. We're an hour ahead of schedule and we're not even sweating. Speak for yourself. <laughs> good time, man. Uh, well, first day is done. We got a great night's sleep in the lean-to. Oh, it's about, oh, it's close to 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Look at that handsome fella. Where? Well, he wasn't that sleeping bag over there, but it's now empty. <laughs> Home for the next few nights. Yeah, not too bad. We're getting started. Heading over to Sealy, waterfall area. There's a pole of ice cliffs, and that's where we're heading over there. Get some weather coming in this afternoon, early afternoon. The wind's picking up, so we're just gonna stay low. Go assess the snow. Assess the situation. Assess the situation. Oh yeah, good stuff up here. Tomorrow's summit bid. Weather's been pretty righteous here. A little diabolical, as this guy would say. Balmy here on Katahdin. Katahdin. Oh, hey, good morning. It's a uh, Wednesday. We just had an epic storm last night. Whew, howling like a mother flipper. Snow all over the place. Uh, spent some time outside. It was quite nice. Actually went out onto Jimmy Pond. It was probably like 9 p.m. before I went to bed. And cut off my headlamp. It was pure darkness, like, like you've never seen before. And of course, there's a nor'easter around me. <coughs> so there's not a clear sky, not a not a star in the sky. It was pretty amazing, very peaceful in a wild sort of way. And right now it's about 7 a.m., been awake for about an hour or so, just kind of taking it slowly, waiting for the weather to calm down a bit. It's partly cloudy, uh, definitely some blue sky. Sun's trying to come up, but the wind is definitely still whipping pretty hard, blowing the snow around. But I uh, got an early morning ski tour in just to get things moving. And uh, yeah, the snow is fluffy. It's nice. Oh, and here's the Obama snowman coming in. Hey, I just oh. had a little dipper. Oh, yeah? What's the little dipper say? Drink more water. Drink more water. <laughs> Clear, copious, and constant. That's the three C's of hydration. Yep. We got boil. Yeah. Turn it off! Oh, yeah. We're really waiting for this weather to push on and for it to get cold tonight. And Fingers crossed, do uh, something like the Sidley Barber at the summit. We'll oh, see. Something epic. Something epic. All right, time to get this situation under control. All right, well, we're here for summit day, 7 a.m. <clears throat> it's uh, below zero out right now, pretty windy, comes in spurts. And we're heading up to go do that route right there, Pomola 4. Yeah, it's Tony. We chose that route because there's a lot of avalanche hazard, as we mentioned yesterday, all throughout the basin. So this route is gonna bring us right to the summit of Pomola. Or yeah, we're aiming to hit the summit. It's minus 45 wind chill today, so we'll see. We got emergency gear in our backpacks. We gotta keep moving because this is a this is a cold day for northern New England. Fingers crossed. Here we go.
told you they get it, Tony. Uh, don't know. I'd say not knowing. I'd say not knowing, Bob. <laughs> No one else up on here today, huh? Oh, big dog. Look at this place. 